Let's do one last lesson on time elements for now. In the last lesson, we learned that to say each or every with a noun, we use jader for masculine nouns, yeda for feminine nouns, yedis for neuter nouns. However, with time elements, we learned that we need the, to change the masculine yeder to yeden. For example, just some examples here, yede stunde, every hour, it's feminine. But the next word, tak, masculine, yeden tak, for every day or each day. Jede Woche, but once again, jeden Monat. Jedes Jahr, but again, two more masculine things, jeden Montag, every Monday, jeden Abend, every evening. We also practice the words for this. These are for masculine nouns, these are for feminine nouns, and these is for neuter nouns. We didn't practice it with time elements, however. With time elements, just like with the word jeder, we need to change the masculine deezer to diesen. For example, repeat these expressions after me. Diese Woche. Diesen Monat. Dieses Jahr. And notice again, the feminine is just the regular diese, Diese Woche, the one at the bottom, it's regular neuter, dieses Jahr, but the one in the middle, because Monat is masculine, I needed the accusative case form of dieser, which is diesen. However, as we've already learned, to say this morning, this afternoon, this evening, etc., German adds the word today instead, saying in essence, today morning, today afternoon, today evening. You've learned this before. Repeat them after me. Heute Morgen. Heute Nachmittag. Heute Abend. Good. Here are a few more expressions for you. How to say next week, next month, and next year. Repeat after me. Nächste Woche. Nächsten Monat. Nächstes Jahr. The word next, next, has to have an adjective lending. And with time elements, as you can see, it's just an E with a feminine noun, like nächste Woche. It's E-N, the accusative case with a masculine noun, therefore nächsten Monat, for next month, and it's an ES with a neuter noun, as in nächstes Jahr. Now, if I want to say in the next week, in the next month, in the next year, etc., I need the word in with the dative case. So we end up with this. Repeat after me. In der nächsten Woche. Im nächsten Monat. Im nächsten Jahr. Notice in this case, the adjectival ending on the word next was en all the way down because we have the dative case, and in dative case, the adjectival ending must end in an n. And we already know, as in the second and third examples, that in can contract with the word dame to become the word im, which is what we did here. I could actually say in dame next in monat and in dame next in yar, but most Germans would contract it. However, in and der in the first example, for something feminine, d becomes der, in plus der never contract. Good. Here are a few more expressions for you. How to say last week, last month, last year. Repeat after me. Letzte Woche. Letzten Monat. Letztes Jahr. Again, as you can see, we have accusative case adjectival endings. So, it's just an E with a feminine noun, like letzte Woche, but it's EN for masculine nouns, like last month, letzten Monat, and it's ES for neuter nouns, like letztes Jahr. And once again, I could say in the last week, in the last month, in the last year, so I'm going to need dative case again. It would be in der letzten Woche. Im letzten Monat. And im letzten Jahr. Repeat these after me. In der letzten Woche. Im letzten Monat. Im letzten Jahr. Notice in all three cases, the word letzt has a dative case at a table ending. It's ending in an N. Or in this case, EN, but it's still ending in an N. Good. So let's wrap this lesson up. 
Repeat the words for beginning, middle, and end after me. Der Anfang. Die Mitte. Das Ende. Now, if I want to say in the beginning, or in the middle, or at the end of a given month, I simply use these words with the month, but without the word the. So, that being the case, repeat how to say, for example, in the beginning of January, February, March, and April. Repeat the first four things here after me. Anfang Januar. Anfang Februar. Anfang März. Anfang April. And remember, in all three cases, it means in the beginning of, even though it's only two words, Anfang Januar means in the beginning of January. Now say in the middle of the next four months. Ready? Repeat after me. Mitte Mai. Mitte Juni. Mitte Juli. Mitte August. Again, in all four cases, it was only two words, but it actually means in the middle of that month. And now, repeat how to say at the end of a given month. Again, it's only two words. Repeat after me. Ende September. Ende October. Ende November. Ende Dezember. Good. You've learned a lot of time elements and expressions in these last few lessons. We'll move on to something else in the next lesson. Good job. Auf Wiedersehen.